friends, welcome back to my channel, The Awkward Book Nerd. It is me, Alana. For this video, I wanted to do my March TBR for you all. So I posted my spring TBR, so you've seen all the books that I'm going to be trying to work through for spring. I've decided this year I want to make sure that I at least tell you what I'm reading each month so that way you have an idea of what I'm going to try and work through. I decided to do this because I wanted to keep you all updated on what I would be reading each month, um, even though you've seen, like, you've already seen what I'm going to be reading for this season. Especially because sometimes for each month I might add in a book that's not even on my spring TBR, so I don't know, I think it's just fun being able to uh, show you. And I just, I also just really love creating TBRs, so this is just an added bonus for me, so. So, uh, for this month, I chose five books. Uh, four of them are on my spring TBR, one of them is not, that I will be hopefully working through this month. I've been in a really, really awful reading slump the past, I don't know, winter season, and I'm hoping it'll go away once spring hits and the sun comes out more and it warms up, but I don't know. <laughs> so we'll see but i'm just like so sad because i just i just want to read and it's just so hard for me right now and i think it might be also because of depression but i'm just gonna blame it on the reading slump i just don't even know like how to break it yet i'm still working on it like i've been able to read a few things but it's like once every two weeks or so i can f finally pick up something it's just really weird if you have any suggestions on how I could break this, please put them down below. I would love to have an idea of what you've done to break your slumps at all, because I need some help. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you what I'll be reading and go from there. So the first book I decided that I wanted to work through was the Mediator series by uh, Meg Cabot, the first book in the Mediator series. I... Uh, really enjoyed this series when I was in high school so I really want to try and reread it and see if I still like it. Um, I eventually want to finish this series this year. I for some reason struggle with fi finishing series. I don't know why. It's just my brand at this point but uh, this will be a reread so I'm hoping this will go easier for me since I'm trying to get out of this slump but I'm hoping like rereading something I like will definitely jumpstart my mojo or whatever. The next book I chose was The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Um, I loved this movie. Emma Watson was the best. So was Logan Lerman. Honestly, all the cast was the best. And so I'm really interested to see if I like the book as much as I like the movie. Um, it's also a short read, so I am, again, hoping this will help me get out of my slump by reading something not super thick. So, yay! <laughs> The next book I chose is kind of a thick one out of all my books, but I was kind of excited to grab this. Um, it is Renegades by Marissa Meyer. I've never read a Marissa Meyer book. Um, I've never been interested until this year, so I wanted to grab this one, especially because it was about superheroes and supervillains and stuff like that, and so I feel like this would have been, would be an interesting read. Um, I'm hoping like the, the whole premise of it will maybe, again, jumpstart me out of my slump and uh really get me intrigued into the story because it does sound, the plot does sound interesting and i like the idea of this book so i am hoping i can get to it next book i picked was the disappearance of sloan sullivan by gia cribs um i picked this one because i've been really wanting to read this for a while it's a thriller um i figured i would try reading a thriller to see if that could get me out of the slump and I don't know, I'm just really intrigued by synop by the, the story, so it's like a, like the idea of a girl in witness protection, like having multiple identities and stuff, so I'm intrigued to see how this goes. Because um, I, I, I think I have another book that's kind of along the same lines of this, where it's like witness protection, but obviously different, so interesting. Alright, and then the last book I chose was... Um, a last minute ad. I got a text last night from Jessica and she said she bought this book and she wanted to buddy read it with me so I asked her if she wanted to do it for March and she said yes. So I'm excited. Um, we decided we wanted to buddy read Who Put This Song On by Morgan Parker. Yes I did not get to this for Blackathon and, and all the other athons and I'm sorry 
But I'm excited to read this with Jessica because I love Betty reading with her and I think it would be fun and I'm really looking forward to this book. I really think it's something that I will be able to relate to in a lot of aspects and so I'm just hoping that I really enjoy it as much as I think I do. Um, again, hoping this will jump start me out of my slump as well. So, and Buddy Reads hold me accountable to get out of my slump. So, that's another added bonus. But I'm super excited about this. And I'm super excited to Buddy Read with Jessica next month. Alright, so that is my TBR for March. Uh, it's kind of short, but I'm okay with that. If you have read any of these books, please let me know down below whether you liked them, whether you didn't like them, whether you think I will like them. I like to know all your opinions, no matter what they are, uh, as long as they're nice <laughs> or worded nicely, I should say. But uh, yeah, super exciting. If you also, so I've been, of course I've been in my reading slump, but I've also been kind of in a filming channel ideas slump thing. So if you have any ideas of videos you want to see from me, please comment those down below as well. I would love to know what you like to see more of on certain channels and see if maybe I could do that. Um, I'm just, I my creative slump just has been bad for a while, so I've just been not... <laughs> been able to think of anything creative to do for my channel and though that's not a bad thing I just want to make sure that I am appealing to all audiences and people and all that kind of stuff so if you would like to do that please go ahead and do that but yeah so I don't know if I did my spiel but if you liked the video please like it down below if you have any comments concerns questions please leave those down below as well if you are not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. I'm stealing the idea from my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.